this demonstration, we're going to have a look at how we can manage in-place archiving within Exchange Server 2019. The advantage this gives us is it allows us to take emails that maybe users won't be using in the foreseeable future. We can then archive that off to potentially cheaper storage. Also as well, that will reduce the size of the user's mail primary mailbox. What we're going to do at this point here is we've come into our Microsoft Exchange Admin Center. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to highlight a few of these IT users. So we'll just use our shift key just to highlight all of the IT users. And then what we're going to do is we're going to enable in-place archiving for these users. So all we need to do at this point here is just scroll down and all we're looking for here is we're just looking for the archiving functionality. So we'll click on more options. And within more options, what we're going to do is we're going to enable archive. That then asks us where do we want to actually put these users' mailboxes. So this, like we said, this could be cheaper storage. So potentially what we're doing, we're storing the primary mailboxes. They're going to be sitting on our solid state drives. And what we'll do is we'll stick the archive onto maybe these magnetic disks. Uh, much cheaper, much larger capacity for the same money. So what we're going to do at this point here is just browse through. Uh, what we have is we have a mailbox database um, called Research. That's on cheap storage. So we'll stick it on Research and we'll select OK. Happy that it's going to be 27 objects. We are going to enable the archiving. And we're going to do that for the selected recipients. So we'll select Save. And as we can see now, it's now setting up the in-place archiving for these 27 objects. So as you can see, now complete. So we'll select Close. Now we've done that, the next thing we want to do at this point here is we just want to ensure that it has worked correctly. So we'll just do a refresh. And then what we can see here is we can now see in the archive column, research has popped up. And what we'll do is we'll just come out of Exchange Control Panel. And what we'll do is we'll go into OWA, we'll log in as a user in the IT department, and we will just verify that they do have an in-place archive. Going to log in as our user called Millie. Now logged in as Millie, and if we have a look down here, what we can see is we can see in-place archive, Millie. And at this point here, what we could do is set up a retention policy to take mail from the main primary mailbox. And then what we could do is we could then transfer that into Millie's in-place archive, maybe after 30, 60, 90 days. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.